Are you curious about frownies? They've been around for like a hundred years. Or did you watch my previous video from over a year ago where I did my frownies do they work video? Many of you have asked for an update and I really meant to do a six month update and a year update, but here I am now. I will give you all the information, pros and cons on frownies. You are in the right place if you've been curious about these iconic facial patches. Before I get started, I just wanted to say, please subscribe. If you are a woman over 35 and you're starting to see changes in your skin and you wanna learn more mature technique and really great products that are tried and true, not only for myself, but also in my pro kit. I'm a 25 year professional makeup artist. I come from the Hollywood industry. So please subscribe and, and that way you can get notifications um, if you click on the little bell and you can see my videos every Saturday. I have a traditional video and every Wednesday night, I will have a video just on um, my Saint makeup, the, you know, the, the makeup that all fits in a compact, which it's pretty phenomenal, okay? So let's get started. Um, frownies is something that my mom used to joke about when I was growing up. I would see them in really high-end drugstores. Years ago, there would be, you know, drugstores like, you know, Newport Beach Pharmacy, or we had one called, gosh, I can't remember the name of it. It was in Belmont Shores, Long Beach, where I grew up, but it was um, Long Pharmacy, maybe? Anyway, it was a beautiful higher-end pharmacy, and it wasn't like a chain. It was privately owned, and the Frownies facial patches were always in a little section in the beauty area and they would have you know the neck tape and the the tapes that pull your you know head all up and my mom actually did try all of those but i never saw my mom wear the frownies but she would joke about them and we knew that hollywood actresses wore them because we would hear stories about hollywood actresses wearing these so i decided to buy these um gosh i guess it's been a year and a half maybe and i posted about it on TikTok and it it went kind of viral um, because m I did a blind reaction. I put them on and then the very next morning I peeled them off for the first time. I'd never used them before. And my forehead was flat and smooth. Now you can see I have lots and lots of lines. I do not Botox my forehead and I'll get to all that in a minute. You can see tons of lines and I'm super expressive. See, just even right now, I can't help it. I just was raised that way. My mom was expressive. I'm super expressive. I'm a little over dramatic. So I move my whole face. Okay. And so in my thirties, I used to get Botox, um, because I worked in Hollywood and everyone was doing it. All my clients in my chair had Botox. And this is back in the time of the early 2000s when Desperate Housewives was very popular and everyone just had a completely frozen face. Nobody's face moved. And I really went in just to start here because I had very deep 11s. And now at, you know, in my 50s, I have three lines. I have, I call them one 11s. Most of you just have 11s. I have three deep creases and it's because of marriage, let's face it. Um, but I would Botox and I started right here and then I started the forehead and then what they do is they're like a drug pusher and they're like, oh, we're gonna give you a little prick here. You don't have to pay for it. We just want you to see how you like it and the next time you come back, you might wanna do your eyes. So I did that and I thought I looked amazing. I mean, my forehead looked like a five-year-old. You know, it was just beautiful and tight and not a line in sight. And my eyes, when I smile, there was no more crinkles. It was so smooth. And then I saw a photo of myself and I looked weird. I looked frozen. My mouth was smiling, but nothing here was. It was all like, it was weird. And I'm like, that's it. I'm done. I'm not doing Botox anymore. It doesn't look natural. I like my crinkly eyes. I like my crow's feet. So I stopped altogether. And I had this weird gut feeling that perhaps what if I got pregnant and I had Botox all in my face and would that make me nervous that I had a, you know, botulism, it's a toxin in your face. And so I thought I'm just done. You know, I was 39. I'd done it for about four years and 
you know, we couldn't get pregnant. We were told that we probably weren't going to get pregnant. We tried every test. We tried, um, we didn't do in vitro. We were, we were right there and I just, I, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't go through it, but we did the shots and we did the timing tests and we did every test that they could do for me and my husband. We just couldn't have a baby in our thirties. And lo and behold, I stopped Botoxing in spring of 2006 and by fall, October, 2006, we found out we were pregnant. We actually found out we got pregnant in October. We found out in November. And I cannot tell you the peace of mind that I had, that I had stopped Botoxing six months prior. I just had peace of mind. I'm not saying that Botox is bad for, you know, a growing fetus. We just don't really know. But why put that in your face just for vanity, right? So I decided I was gonna grow old naturally, whatever that meant. You know, it's easy to say that when you're 40 and still young and cute, but as I got older and older, I'm like, oh, I don't know. And, you know, then I was doing clean beauty and putting toxins in your face don't really, you know, line up with clean beauty. And so I started frownies, okay? And um, in my frownies video, I'll never forget, someone commented and said, oh, for crying out loud, just do Botox and get it done. Easy, done. And it made me laugh and I, I thought about it and I'm like, what if I did just go back and just get it right here, nowhere else. I don't wanna freeze my face, just right here. Because my creases were getting so deep that when I turned like three quarters, you could see bumps right here and really deep creases. And people, like my husband would say, why are you angry? And I'm like, I'm not angry. I, it was just not cute, okay? So I went and I found an injector in Charlotte, North Carolina. Her name is Courtney. She's a physician assistant. She's at the Charlotte Aesthetic Surgery Center. Um, she's one of the top 100 injectors in the country. She teaches she flies around and teaches she's a busy mom of three so i don't know how she does it all but i really liked her and her before and afters were very soft and natural so i went to her and we just did it here and she tried to get me to do it with the forehead and i said absolutely not no right here only i want to go home and i want my husband not to notice and i want my audience not to notice because at the time i had over two hundred thousand on tiktok i now have three hundred thirty-five thousand on tiktok and I had a growing YouTube and I had just talked about frownies and I didn't want to be a hypocrite and just shoot up my face and go frownies work because I was getting Dysport. I didn't get Botox. She recommended Dysport. It was very inexpensive. It was about $186 and we just did right here and not one person, not one person in six months said, hey, something's different about your face. Did you start getting dis disport of Botox? Not one. People always inject, you know, um, accuse me of in, in fillers in my cheek, but that's 100% me. You can tell, cause look, see how they drop really down here when, see I smile and I've got these great apple cheeks, but when I know, look, they're not filler, trust me. If I had filler, I wouldn't have this, I wouldn't have this. So I get accused a lot of filler in my cheeks on TikTok, but I'm never accused of, Botoxing my face because I don't and plus it's disport and plus it's only right here It was six months before my husband noticed and he's not one of those husbands that doesn't know I changed my eyebrow color and he's like, hey, did you change your eyebrow color? I changed my hair and he's like, hey, did you change your hair? He notices things he's super perceptive He did not notice for six months that I had disport right here and um, so I go and I get it every 12 to 14 weeks and that's it I just do it right there and that's it so I didn't need these as much, so I kind of backed off. And so when you guys would ask for updates, I'm like, I got disport. I've never, I don't know that I've ever said that publicly. Um, I'm trying to think. I may have said it in a YouTube here or there. I may have said it in a TikTok or an Instagram, but I really don't talk openly about it. Just because it hasn't really come up, I'm not like trying to hide anything. I'll tell you anything. I'm going from a series of chemical peels in August and September to get off, um, you know, sunspots and freckles that I just am sick of tretinoin. I'm sick of all that. I love retinol, but I'm so sick of tretinoin and I'm sick of hydroquinone and they, uh, they do work. They are effective, but they always give me ugly skin and I'm a makeup artist and I'm working for tons and tons of brands and I just can't have ugly skin and do makeup. So I'm kind of off tretinoin right now. 
I'm going to do a series of chemical peels. I'll bring you all along with me, but this is why I, I kind of got away from frownies. Well, cut to um, quite a few months ago and I would wake up and I would see this one line, but when I would try to furrow my brow, nothing was moving and yet I had this deep line starting and I'm like, where is this line coming from? I, I literally can't move this. And so I looked in the mirror and I went like this and look, do you see how the weight of my, this side of my face falls like this? Look, do you see that? And then when we go this way, it, you can see it. You can see all of this shifting and falling and it was creating lines. And I'm like, doggone it, I'm putting these back on. So I started wearing them just right here. Okay, just right here, just one patch. And I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I put them on every night. Um, you can do them across your whole forehead and sometimes I do. Sometimes they do because they dry hard. They dry hard, you get a you get 144 in a box, they're only $20, get them on Amazon if you get free shipping and prime shipping. Um, you can cut them into little triangles and you'll see when I demonstrate how I put them on, but you can do your whole forehead and I will tell you this, when you do your whole forehead and you take them off the next morning, this doesn't move. It almost feels frozen or numb. And if you really concentrate on it while you speak, especially for someone like me who's super expressive, you really concentrate on that numbness and not moving your face, it starts to train your muscles. They, these are, this is not Botox in a box. It, it is in a way, but it's training your muscle. You have to do some of the work, okay? This is not like, the magic potion. This is a tool to help you be more mindful to not move your whole face. So when I started putting them on right here when I slept, I noticed those that line started to shallow out again because our faces collapse as we get older and when we sleep on our side, which is terrible for us, that happens. But even when I fall asleep on my back, I wake up on my side. I'm just, I'm a side sleeper. I just have been my whole life, okay? So that's what I wanna say about these. These are the only shape I like. Um, they also sell like the butterfly shape. I don't like those. When you have looser skin and laxity, you can put the patch on and then your skin will like pillow around it and then you wake up with bizarre creases on your face. Um, if you see a lot of younger women on social media wearing it, or Helen, who's the great, great, great granddaughter of the owner of Frownies, or the creator of Frownies, um, Helen does a beautiful job demonstrating it, but Helen is young, she has tight skin, and she's worn these since she was young. And so she doesn't have any movement, or she doesn't have the laxity yet, but, but I tried the um, lip ones, and the lip ones work, but I, I find them weird to wear to bed at night, so I don't like wearing them. They do work though, they really help with those lines. And then I like this shape, which I can put right here, and I can kind of patchwork a few on my forehead. I don't like the ones around the eyes, and I don't like the ones for around the mouth, because again, my skin will kind of like buckle around it, and then it creates all new weird shapes and creases when you wake up in the morning. But this, I really think every single person over 30 should, should try these. Just try them, see how, you, see how they work. Um, I have a friend named Ashley who has no lines in her forehead. She's never had Botox. She's 40 years old. She's never had Botox. I can get up close and she does not have a line in her forehead. She does not have any lines here. The reason she said is when she, she's a professional makeup artist in Hollywood or Hollywood films and TV like myself. And she said she started noticing lines in actresses' faces and would watch them speak. And she saw expression causing lines. And so she decided one day she wasn't gonna make expression anymore. And you know, she can raise her eyebrows and she can do a shocked look. She's not over dramatic like I am, but she has been very mindful of her face movement and she has not moved her face when she speaks since her 20s. And that's why she's 40 and doesn't have any lines. It's amazing. So these do work. They 100% work, but you have to be very mindful all day not to move your face because the, these do the work while you sleep and then when you take them off, you have to do the rest of the work, okay? But at the very least, if you just wanna prevent lines from forming while you sleep, these are fantastic, okay? So 
let's cut to, I'll show you how to put them on and I will um, see you over there. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I use these and the best way to apply. Now, Helen will use her Rose Hydrating Spray. I don't see it anywhere, but it's a really nice facial mist. Um, she'll spray the back of these and apply them. I don't like that method and I think it takes a lot longer. I'm always in a hurry. Uh, I can't stress enough how important it is that these have to go on drier skin, meaning you can't put it on right after your skincare. So what I like to do um, is come home from work, take off my face, um, put my skincare on earlier in the night, like seven or eight o'clock at night, and then right before bed, I'll, I'll pop off on the patch. Now, I've shown you my, my biggest area of concern, which is right here in the middle. And I always do the rounded side, because see these have points. I always do the rounded side and I do it just like this, okay? And it does not budge, it does not budge. Now you're gonna take hot water and I literally just use hot tap water and I don't run it under the hot water because I don't, I'm dipping my finger in hot, hot, teacup of water. Um, I don't want it to get too saturated, but you can see how shiny it is. And then I set it down just for a couple minutes and I'll do something else. Maybe I'll brush my teeth or X, Y, or Z. Okay. Now I'll show you in a minute another, another way you can wear it too, but this is my main area where I have the deepest lines. When I lie on my face, my, my face collapse and causes deeper lines, okay? When it starts to curl like this, see how it's curling? It's time to put it on. And all you do is just lay it down Some of the edges will not lay flat right away, but trust me, once this is dry, this thing is flat. The reason these work so much better than any of those silicone gel patches or the kinesiology tape is because these dry completely hard. And when they're hard, your muscle doesn't move at all. You can move your muscles with kinesiology tape. I'm so sick and tired of people saying, just use kinesiology tape. I've tried it. You can literally move your face with kinesiology tape. And Helen has done countless videos with taping her face and she can move her face in all different directions with kinesiology tape or even the wrinkle patches. What's good with this is you cannot move your face. It's literally mimicking Botox, okay? Then what I will do is um, if I really want to train my forehead muscles not to move because I'm super expressive, I will take one of these. I will, um, they're perforated. There's a little perforated line, so I just kind of, they're not flimsy or cheap, I'll tell you that. Um, then I will also do one here and one here, and then I've got my whole forehead. So I'm only using two patches a night. And again, I don't use these every night, but I use them many, many nights, okay? So here's the important thing you need to know. In the morning, the next morning and sometimes I'll leave it on for a while I'll leave it on in a workout because when you're in a working out you kind of strain your face I'll leave this on if I work out um, but in the morning it is so important to really saturate this once again because it's dry and it's hard and if you try to peel it off God forbid you just used any type of acids on your face the night before. You don't wanna lift off skin. It, I've never had that happen to me, but I've seen women say, oh my gosh, it lifted off some skin. Well, you can't just peel it off. So I will take hot water and I'll either like kind of cut my hand with hot water and hold it there for, you know, 20, 30 seconds, or you can take a hot, hot, wet washcloth and hold it there and then you can peel it right off. It's still not super easy to peel off. Now that's easy because um, 
I only put it on moments ago. But that's how I wear the frownies. I absolutely love these. Let's see, you get 144 patches and it's only around $20. And you really only need two patches a night. And again, I, I, I'm so bad. I really don't use them every night like I should. I feel glue on my forehead. One of the things I like about the glue, first of all, it's all vegetable based. But what I like about the glue is it makes your forehead stiff. So it kind of feels like you still have the patch on. It kind of feels like you still have some like Botox in there. It's really nice. I love it. I can't, I can't speak more highly about these patches. Um, I've used them now for a couple years. I'm sorry I haven't done um, an update video only because I just haven't been consistent with them. But I really do think that everyone should try them once. Um, you can get them um, on Frownies and sometimes they have discounts. Um, sometimes they even have a discount code, but I don't know if I've lost it or if I've turned it on in a long time, but honestly, I get them cheaper through Amazon because then I get Prime. I get them right away and I don't pay shipping. So I do these through Amazon Prime, but if you don't have an Amazon Prime, you can definitely go to Frownies and buy these. Um, and I would recommend trying one box and see how, how they work. Um, when I do my whole face though, it really does feel, um, almost motionless the first few hours of the day, but unfortunately I'm so expressive that I do end up ideally moving my whole entire forehead. But you can see now even, I'm not moving my eyebrows too much because I have intent. I'm intentionally thinking about my forehead muscles and not moving them. But usually when I get busy halfway through the day, boom, I'm moving my whole face. I'm raising my eyebrows up and down and all my lines have come back. So again, this is not to get away, to get rid of your wrinkles. Nothing's gonna get rid of wrinkles as we get older other than, I don't know, chemical peels, laser or surgery. And even then, there's only so much you can do. You can't postpone aging, right? I mean, like <laughs> I have all these crinkles here and they're not gonna get any better, but they don't bother me. There's only certain lines on my face that bother me. And it really is those, those deep, deep 111s in, in between my brows, those really bother me. And then this whole business going on here, this like everything falling here really, like, this. I don't mind these lines here, but this, ugh. Um, that's the only thing that really bothers me. And the only thing you can do for all of this is, is cut and lift. That's all you can do. So we have to work with what we have. We have to work with our budget. And I think most of us don't mind some aging on our face too much. It's cute because I hear a lot of gals in their late 60s and early 70s reaching out to me and they're like, you just wait, Michelle, you're only 55, but you just wait. I'm like, I know. I told my friends who are 40 the same thing. Um, you know, every decade brings its new challenges. Every decade brings, brings more age to our face, but this really does paralyze your muscles while you sleep. And we do so much damage to our face while we sleep. And I'm just not a back sleeper. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. I can sometimes fall asleep like that. Um, but I, I'm just ultimately always a side sleeper. So I will, I will wear these for the rest of my life. I just will. They're so affordable and you just pop them on and they're just, they could not be easier and they actually work. So I hope that has helped. This is not a miracle in a box. They don't claim to be. It's really just training your muscles not to move so that you have less expression lines. And um, if you really stick with it and really put intent into your face when you speak, um, you will absolutely notice a difference. There is no denying that. But will this reverse the clock? No. If you start young like Helen did, the girl does not have a line in her forehead. She's so beautiful. I love her so much. She started young, but it's her family business. So of course she's going to start young. I unfortunately didn't get to these until my 50s, even though I knew about these in my teens and 20s. I used to see these at fancy drugstores in Southern California. Oh well, live and learn, right? Okay, let me know in comments if you've tried these or if you want to try these. I can't wait to hear 
your thoughts. And um, for any of my makeup that I'm wearing today, obviously not right now, but in the beginning of my video, any makeup I'm wearing, I will put in um, the description. So for some of you who are new here or don't really understand how links work or, or finding out what colors people are wearing, you have to click on the title of the video. And if you click on the title with your cursor or mouse, a whole menu pops down. And that's where you'll find the links to my Mature Makeup Masterclass. It's where you'll find links to anything I'm wearing on my face. Um, I, I think I will put a Frownies, I, I'll put a Frownies link in there because I can put these on my Amazon store and I can put a Frownies link in there. Um, otherwise, just go to frownies.com. I don't need to make commission off this. I just do it for you. So many of you ask for links and honestly, so many of my Amazon links are just to make it easier for you. We, Amazon pays pennies. It's almost not even worth it. I just really literally do it for you guys just to make it easier to um, order, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching. I can't wait to hear what you think of your first box of frownies and I will be back next week. Bye for now.